Hello there guys and good morning shall I say, um, it is now nearly one o'clock in the morning and I thought I'd just uh, quickly do this tutorial for you guys, uh, showing you how to get that very cool VHS look uh, for your film production, so uh, we're going to get cracking. Now you are going to need a plugin um, from Red Giant Universe called VHS, um, that is the only part of this tutorial or the only plugin you're going to need. Um, I will link... Uh, in the description where to Red Giant you can actually go to find this plugin. It is a paid uh, plugin, um, unfortunately. I wish it was free, but um, unfortunately you have to pay for it. But very, very worthwhile. Um, but very worth getting, uh, if that makes sense. So uh, this is going to be cool. So I'm going to go to create a new composition. And I'm just going to change my dimension. I'm going to go 320 um, by 240. And that will give me um, the dimensions that I need uh, to do this uh, thing, the 4.3 aspect ratio. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to import a clip. Um, and I've got something on my desktop quite high res, so it's like a previous clip. I'm not going to bring it down to a new comp because that's going to alter everything. I'm just going to uh, put it, drop it on my video clip, press S on the keyboard, and then I'm just going to scale it down. Now this looks like a uh, widescreen. What I'm going to do actually guys, I'm going to go to composition, I'm just going to change it back to 1920. Because uh, you don't actually have to do that um, by 1080. So I do apologise about that my friends. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to copy it up like that. Now video um, VHS should automatically fix this, but just in case, I want to get that nice 4.3 aspect ratio. A lot of people make this mistake when they're doing this effect. And what they do is they apply this effect to a widescreen image. But as you know, VHS never had widescreen back then. It was all for uh it was all for four by six, it was all like the square uh look. Um so that is what we're gonna try and achieve here. So I'm simply gonna after I've applied this video. I'm going to come up to effect and then I'm going to look for um, my um, plugin, which should be under Red Giant Universe. I'm going to go to Stylize, and when you install it, it'll be under VHS. So I'm just going to hit VHS, and once that's done, automatically what it's done is giving us that really nice uh, VHS look. But what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to scale it up a bit. Now you can have this effect what dimensions you want, it's entirely up to you. But if you want a bit of realism, you know, say you've got a scene where someone's watching an old VHS film um, on a widescreen TV, um, like a montage, like I just said, like a, you know, history montage or looking back on their past to give you that effect that they they are looking at something in the past. Um, this is the, the the sort of best way to do it. But as soon as you apply this preset, it gives you a really beautiful. Um, VHS look straight away. So up here in our effects control panel, we've got quite a few uh, settings. Uh, so we've got VHS standard, you've got clean VHS, so I'll just go through it. So that'll give you, you know, a nicer uh, VHS image, interlaced error. So you've got loads of errors as well, like reception, like the coaxial cable or the scar leads on its way outside and so on. Uh, muted. Um, saturation boost and you can sort of go through these um, various effects um, to find the exact one you want. Now the one I like is standard VHS and then you've got 4.3 or you've got original so original you can sort of stretch the screen out uh, just to uh, make it a lot bigger. Uh, frame style you can go back to 4.3 like that um, or obviously like I just said you can go to original and then down here obviously you've got your um, settings um, that you can play around with um, just to give it um, the effect that you want and what you can do is just time stamp these so obviously this is the length of the video um, let me just run and preview that um, this is the length of the video and obviously when you play it back and it's rendering through it's going to give you that lovely you know, flickering sort of imagery that you would get or you would expect from an old VHS tape. So a very, very, very simple effect, as you can see. It takes literally seconds 
um, to do, um, especially with this plugin, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, you can get your image offset and you can play around with that. So you can make your lines of decoding or your pixelation uh, worse, or you can make it bad. If you go up to target style, you can change this. Um, so you can have SVHS, so stereo VHS, like so. Uh, Umatic, you can have, and and even uh, beta, so it's like a Betamax. So absolutely fantastic plugin. Um, I do recommend it if you want to get this sort of effect um, within your production or composite this onto a screen, for instance. Um, for your project, so I highly recommend it. So, um, obviously, if you wanted to do this, you'll be using the tracking feature, so on and so on. What I'll do, guys, during the week, I'll go into a more detailed um, tutorial uh, for you guys on how you would composite this sort of thing onto a live um, action uh, TV uh, for your project. I'm just going to trim that down. And uh, yeah, we can sort of go from there. But yeah, fantastic plugin. Um, very quick, as you can see, this tutorial, tutorial, um, and definitely worth the purchase. So, look, I hope this has been informative um, for you guys. Um, if you have enjoyed this very, very quick tip tutorial, please remember to hit that like button. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead, guys, hit that subscribe button as well. And I'll definitely catch you in tomorrow's video or today's video, which will be later on today. And I'll show you guys how to composite this. Um, effect onto a live action TV. So, as always, guys, thanks for listening, and I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.